Jin, Kyungi Chan, Doji Young. All right, so here we are, guys, on Daybreak. And in the top right hand corner of the map, we have our blue Terran player. Had to sneak in that GLHF before the Manor Bear himself. That is Polt. And his opponent down in the bottom left hand corner, potentially the most huggable member of Team Liquid. He is Sheth, our purple Zerg player. Yep. There you go. <laughs> that is huggable. true. Yes. Yes, he is. Yeah. All right. So. Polt, uh, quite a well mannered guy himself as yep. well. Definitely one of the nicest pro gamers out there. And. If you come to IPL4 and see him, don't be afraid to speak English to him because he actually is pretty fluent. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, well, I will make sure to do so then. All right. Casting some of his games. So, um, and of course, you're going to see both of these guys here if you decide to come out as all of Liquid is signed up. Every single member of Liquid has actually signed up uh, for the open bracket at IPL4. So really hope you guys are going to be there. Of course, it's going to take place April 6th through 8th at the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas. Uh, the GSTL Finals will be there. We're going to have a $100,000 StarCraft tournament at the same time as well. Uh, it's going to be a pretty incredible event. Tickets.IGN.com. That's where you want to go to pick up your spectator passes. Yep, exactly right. And, uh, yeah, so no command center first for Pult this time. Nope. A little bit dangerous to do that on this map. It is a big map, but your natural is still a little bit more wide open, so most players elect to get at least the barracks first. Oh, and a gas, too. Huh. Yeah, so it's just going to be uh, Reactor and Hellions, it appears. Certainly could be. Yeah, not doing that uh, crazy build that we saw last go around, of course. And uh, not only is this, uh, it, it is a big map, you know, but it is also a two player map. So it's not like you have to find where your opponent's at. So it's a lot harder to luck into pulling off quick expansions and things like that. Yeah, Unless, exactly. of course, you're Protoss and then you just uh, put a Forge up there. And uh, maybe kind of interesting to note. Pult playing the straight up too, not hiding that barracks anywhere like a lot of Korean Terrans have been doing in a TVZ lately, even allowing the supply depot to go down to let the drone in easily. What a nice guy. <laughs> you could have just gone is. to the oh, other the side. SCB and the drone just waltzing Aww. together across the base now. Oh, jerk drone. Oh, oh turns fight, on his friend. fight, 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 fight. Fight. So this is actually going longer than I anticipated. Okay. Wow. Well, Sheth finally goes away with that drone. So, yeah. what if you're Dukes? This SCVs is going to be up. These are like the toughest construction workers ever, man. I mean, <laughs> what other construction job do you know where you have to, like, fight an alien creature just to be able to start working, you know, for the day? That is a tough job. And what other construction job do you know where you can smoke a cigarette inside of a hermetically sealed suit? But yeah, that's neither here nor there. Um, SCV is going to sneak his way in. He is going to see spawning pool and gas up. Nothing out of the ordinary from Chef, though. Yep. That's right. Weather construction job, you have to, like, go into the alien <laughs> infestation base, too, early on and be like, yep, yep, he's making stuff. Can I come home now? <laughs> Please, for the love of God, this wasn't... I didn't I didn't have experience with this on my I resume. I wasn't supposed to come in today. <laughs> I wasn't even supposed to be here. That's what it is. Yeah. Oh, I hate when I misquote things. My oh. bad. Sorry, Clerks fans. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I, I, I got your Kevin Smith back. I'm not really sorry. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> That's good. Have you ever watched Clerks Uncensored, the cartoon series? Uh, no. Oh! I. You say we are watching The Room. We are watching Clerks Uncensored, the cartoon series. Oh, yes. Right. Oh, yes. Sure. Well, underappreciated, but I hope some people out there have seen it. Reactor Hellions coming out for Pult now. All right. Sir Pult, those got his command center on the way as well. In the meantime, Rhett. Again, uh, playing safe, getting that Zergling speed. Oh, I'm sorry, not Rhett. It's Sheth this time. Getting the Zergling speed, getting that spine crawler up as well. Yeah, Manor Bear himself, as a matter of fact, and uh, going to try and protect himself as best as he can. Uh, Bolt does have his first couple of Hellions on the way, uh, queuing up already two more after that while beginning his tech lab on that barracks. We'll see if he goes into quick stim. And nothing yet. Actually, it's a Marauder is the first thing produced out of there. Yep. Uh -oh. And uh, so will he go for Ooh. some sort of Marauder Hellion push, or is he just maybe making one or two just to stay safe against a possible Roach counterattack? Um, Chef does love his Roaches, and Zerg players have enjoyed just making, you know, like five or six Roaches early on to try to put some mm -hmm. pressure back on their Terran opponents. So we'll have to see if, uh, if Polt decides to go for the second one. Yeah, Not quite yet. Polt just softening up that queen so far, but yep. now there's a couple of lings, another queen, and a spine crawling out all at the same time, so not really going to be that much more uh, difficult. Polt could swing in and kill the creep tumor if he wants, and he's going to try, but... Good. Oh, he does get it. Yeah, uh, nice little job there, so yep. 
Just an annoyance for Sheth, not going to have quite the creep spread that he wants. Huh. And we do have, uh, let's see, he's not actually producing anything else out of the barracks. A Zergling does sneak its way through, though. Yep. So Sheth's got a good read on what his opponent is doing. Yeah, and immediately starts a Roach Warren as well. So Polt may need those Marauders. He's only produced one so far, but he may need to make a few more if Sheth does decide to uh, go for some sort of early game Roach push. In fact, he's actually saving up a good amount of minerals right now. Yes, he is. And uh, Roach Warren going to be finished here in just a bit. Um, let's actually take a look around. No other tech. There we go. Finally, an evolution chamber on the way as well. Uh -oh. And there's layered tech. Yep. And there's going to be a strong push coming in here for Bolt as well. He's got some Hellions, a Marauder, and a couple of Marines. And a uh, few things are already out for Chef, though. He hasn't really dispatched of the Hellions, unfortunately. Does take out one. The Zerglings are down, but now he can rally behind the two Queens and the Spinecrawler up the front. Well, I got to say, Chef actually handled that really, really well. Yeah, not even yep. making any roaches. Just killing off the Marines and the Marauder right away and then kind of getting his queen Queens back before they took too much unnecessary damage. He's got another 16 lanes just popping out as well to yeah. join the uh, six that are already on the field. It's going to be actually, I'm sorry, 18 in total. Uh, Bailing Nest now on the way as well. Not going to take advantage of that Roach Warren for a while. Nope, not quite yet. Just wanted to make it to stay safe. But now that he sees it's not going to be a massive amount of Hellions, he's deciding to forego the Roaches this time. I think seeing the Marauder as well kind of helped him make that decision. This um, has got to be the most frustrated queen in the world. Every time she puts up a Kree tumor, it just gets killed. It's like the old guy who builds a card house and young kids just knock it down every time. It's like I work hard to produce this creep tumor with my own like bodily enzymes, and you just burn it up. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> That's true. We can't have nice things here in the StarCraft world, yeah. unfortunately. But uh, queen is going to, well, actually a little overextended on creep. But there's enough wings around that, of course, is pulled away. And he'll start to make his way back home. He does have a third command center already coming up, though, producing five Marines at a time. And it uh, looks like it's just going to be medevacs along with that. Yep, pretty Excuse common. Me. Pretty uncommon, actually, that you see tanks early on in TVZ anymore, like the old 11-minute tank Marine timing pushes. Pretty much a thing of the past at this point. And Chef is actually taking his expansion. He has a little bit of map control to himself now. Can start taking the Zelnaga Tau. That's exactly what he's doing. And here comes Polt, rolling out with a good number of bio forces, reinforcing the two medevacs and five marines at a time. Automaton was like, I would prefer to stay on the ramp, thank you. <laughs> How dare you? Excuse me. <laughs> I'm just standing here. The medevacs saying, oh, oh, yeah, that's right. You fly above these guys. And uh, so Rhett actually in a pretty good situation right now. This is another strong push coming out from Polt. He's got a lot of Hellions, as you can see, backing this up as well. But Rhett, you know, he's got some spine crawlers. He's got a couple roaches. He's got a lot of lings and banelings on the way as well. So Holt is going to need to be careful about how he engages this. All right, well, Chef does have his uh, spine crawlers burrowed up at the front now, so he's going to keep this little area safe. But on the left-hand side, uh, Chef may be in go. a little bit of danger. There are some banelings there, but Polt going to make his way in with some stim marines. Chef actually may give up this expansion. Is he going to try and go? Oh, he is. He's going to try oh, and man. save this. Oh, he's actually running oh, around the from flag. the outside as well. He could kill all the Hellions. He does so very, very nicely. And uh, Polt's going to have to pick up. He loses most of his marines, though. Chef just barely keeping Matt Hatchery alive. Yeah, you can see that Polt tried to stim just at the last moment to get out from behind the Zerglings. He didn't want to get surrounded like that, mm. but Chef controlled quite well. Polt had to pick up, and he lost most of that army. Chef responding now with the Spires, saving up some gas. He's going to try to produce a decent amount of, not Zerglings, he's got those ready, a decent amount of Mutalisks when that yeah. does finish. Yes, he will, as a matter of fact. He's already well along on his upgrades, though. He's got plus two carapace with plus two melee, or plus one melee weapons, I'm sorry, coming up now at the same time, working off of double Evo chambers. 43 links on the ground, actually, to his opponents. One tank, four medevacs, 34 marines. And, oh, Polt actually catching Sheth a little bit off guard here on the left, but uh, Sheth was able to saturate that third nonetheless. You know, it's soon going to be a lot more than just a couple tanks for Polt. He's got that second factory close to finishing right mm -hmm. now. Siege mode is nearly done as well. And he's going to be double producing tanks out of that. It's going to get a very, very strong army. Oh, look at that. The yeah. manor Zerglings blocking the command center a little bit. That is true, but uh, he does delay that for long enough to start uh, receiving the benefit off of his third quicker than Pult, despite the fact that Pult had finished up his a little bit earlier. And look at that. It's just disruptive, you know? Pult forced to pull everything back at the moment. Uh, we do have an engagement on the left-hand side as a few Marines do get trapped. Chef going to try and make his way out now. And no, it's not going to be enough. The firepower too great from Pult. Oh, wow. Bailing's getting chewed up as well. You know, I got to say, the macro for Polt is always impressive to watch. I mean, he is keeping right up with Chef there, despite doing all of these pokes and prods around the map. His multitasking has really always been 
one of his strong suits, and he's really showing it off at this point in the game, too. Yeah, he's kept the supply pretty high, of course. Uh, you know, I've noticed that Sheth is never very much the swarm sort of player. You know, overwhelm, high supply, very quick in the game. Usually expensive units, good control, things like that. And uh, he does have a fair number of mutas up now, but he's certainly going to need to add some more in there. We do see six more coming up. Yep. That's right. The more mutalisks, the merrier. That's what I always say. I think that's how the old proverb goes. I believe it? so, yeah. Yeah, that's the more mutas, the merrier. Yes. Pretty sure. Yeah, absolutely. Plus some weapons on the way as well. Pult now does have a nice little tank army. And let's see. I mean, Pult is one of those players that was really, really good for a while. Then he kind of slumped. Now he's back. Uh oh. He's All right, we'll win. Game. Oh, man. Yeah, this hatchery is actually going to go down, but Sheth is actually trying to take out the force on the right hand side as well. Looks like he will get that, but he lost a base in the process. And, yeah, and Pult's going to need to pick up here. Yeah. Or he can't really. Yeah, there's Mutalus yeah. flying overhead now, so unfortunately the Medvax will go down, gets himself in as good of a position as possible to kill the maximum number of Zerglings. And uh, Chef, maybe going to need to think about double expanding. Is that what he's doing? Yes, he is. Yeah, but as I was saying before, the action in the game so rudely interrupted me. Uh, Pult's story is, is kind of a cool one, you know? He's been around the GSL since the very beginning. He's one of the, uh, the longest... Uh, successful StarCraft II pro gamers in Korea. Mm -hmm. And so, and, and like I mentioned, he was slumping for a little bit. You know, after his super tournament win, he went downhill a bit. Yes. But he practiced hard, he came back, and now, you know, these days he's playing better than ever. So it's just really cool to see a player like that. You know, MC is another example where he was on top of the world, kind of went down for a little bit, and now fought his way back up. Brinking Prime, even, I would throw Oh, yeah, that, Marine uh, King's another great example of that, for sure. Yeah, especially with his recent win at uh, MLG Winter Arena. So, let's yep. see now. Chef, he's uh, flying around Pult's base, trying to be generally as annoying as possible. There's only one missile turret up. He does have a little sweet spot right here where he can pick off a couple of workers and that refinery, possibly. But now some, uh, some Marines, I'm sorry, are cycled over. He does have pretty good control of the map, though. Pult's really not threatening with any sort of drops or anything like that. Um, infestation pit is actually done with pathogen, pathogen glands on the way, but Sheth has not gone to, uh, I'm sorry, Hive Tech quite yet. Yep. I almost thought you were going to say passionate glands there for a second. I was like, that is a <laughs> whole different kind of upgrade, glands. man. Yes. You know, watching Rhett play like this, or watching Sheth play like this as well, um, and Rhett, and really all the Team Liquid guys, really, really makes me want to see them go back to Korea and compete in the GSL again. Oh, that'd be so cool. I think they're, I don't know, I mean, with... With the way they've been playing right now, I think they've got, they'd have a really good chance of getting in code A and staying in there at least, you know, at the very least. I think there's a good possibility of that. I mean, we already saw Hero as well get back into code S, so, yeah. uh, or get into code S, I should say. And it looks like a few SCVs are going to bite the dust. We also have some Burrow Bailing sitting out in the middle of the map. Whoa, oh, shit! Oh, loses one Mutalisk. Not sure what that sound was out of me, actually. You were like, Grah! Whoa! Whoa! Like a little bird noise. I guess so. <laughs> is that a bird? Is that a I bird? Don't know. I don't know. It's Some more birds disturbing. Sound strange, you know. Yeah. That's what Maybe happens when you research the passionate uh -oh, gland upgrade. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Pult oh, he throws oh, down the scan. He's wow. going to be able to kill the burrowed banelings. Look at that. Yeah, Pult just so on top of everything right now. Yeah. Chef, though, getting his hive, not losing too many mutas, getting that plus two flyer attacks as well, so he's going to be ready to move into Broodlords fairly soon if he chooses to here. Yeah, it, hopefully. It'll take another 100 seconds, though, to finish up the uh, to the greater spire. He'll also need to produce some corruptors in the meantime, so it is a significant investment nonetheless, and already Pult is making his way out on the map. He is going to be on equal basis with his opponent here very, very soon. Oh, Chef can get some drones killed here in the middle. All right. And Pult has a pretty nice army to uh, make the defensive position cut off this third and fourth. Yeah, that is indeed a scary army. And the Mutalisk is not going to last very long here. Oh, man, not the best engagement at all for Chef. No. And that may have actually just cost him the game right there. Well. He's down in supply now. He might. He's in very well. He's, there's a very good chance he's going to lose a base or two here in the near yes. future. All right, we'll yep. see what he can uh, do to recover from this. He's got a few units out now. Also, a couple of infestors could drop down some fungal growth, missing for the large part with both of those. Oh, and every unit he just sent in to counterattack did yep. just get destroyed. Yeah. Chef losing a lot of drones here, too. He's not out of it just yet, but it's going to be really, really tough. He needs to break this army. Yeah. And he hasn't lost any bases yet, too. So, I mean, Pult 
suddenly playing a little bit passively. I gotta say, I mean, I feel like he could be pushing up a little bit more aggressively than he is right now. Certainly not classic pull to play that aggressive, uh, to, play, to play that passively. There we go. But okay. he is going to take out this hatchery as well. That's going to put Chef uh, on basically, no, I guess he is fully mining off of this base once again. So it's yep. gonna put him on three base mining. Yeah, and if you look, it looks like Chef may be kind of trying to counterattack, but Polk cleaning up some units as well there. And he is going to be able to get this base, actually. Uh, Polk's going to lift that off, but it will eventually die. Going to try and get away, but not going to be the case. Um, but he does have a couple of backup command centers ready just, just for that possibility. Polk, wow, nice target firing on those mainlings, too. Just kind of slowly pushing ahead here. Taking out yet another hatchery from Rhett. Rhett's going to be down to just his natural expansion, which is almost nearly mined out. Yeah. And so this is going to be the point in time where Rhett needs to crush this army or he needs to GG one of the two. Oh, and it looks like uh, Chef does clean up quite a few units there, but I don't know if that alone is going to be enough because he hasn't touched this defensive position. Polk can continue advancing on Chef's forces right now, and... Uh, I don't know, man. Chef, that's all the mining he's doing right well, now. Well, Chef used so many banelings for each Marine. That was a very inefficient trade for him, unfortunately. And Polt is just very well defended at home. I mean, he can just kind of challenge Chef to a base race now, and uh, I think Polt would win that. All right. Well, he is going to kill a few SEVs here, so uh, a decent little win, but uh, not really all that much more going to be done. Oh, Moose into the range of the Thor. Kills a few units, yes, but takes some serious damage on those Mutalisks. Yep. And Pult, he is just going to uh, try and bring it home oh, now. There's one fungal growth. A few units moving in as well, but the Banelings are all dead, basically. There's a couple left, but that's about all. Our first Broodlords are popping up, but it looks like Polt is going to have plenty to deal with Chef's forces. Yeah, if Chef can fungal those Marines to death and take away all the good anti-air that Polt has, the Broodlords could theoretically push him back, but still he's just got no mining going on right now. His resources are almost out completely. Chef on the ropes right now. Yes, he is. Oh, and, man, uh, all the Broodlords dying before they finish. And he's going to try and do some sort of a flank, it looks like, from the back as well. But uh, I don't know if that's going to be able to get there close enough. 85 oh. supply to 190. It looks like Polt is going to even things up at three games apiece. Here come the last of Chef's forces. And the Banelings are dealt with very quickly. There's not enough left to deal, uh, or the Mutalists are not enough to deal with the Marines. And that is going to be all she wrote. Yeah, that is it. Expect the GG. There's the GG from Chef and TSL Polt evening things up. Rhett. Chef both looked like they were playing pretty well, but in the end, it looks like Polk coming back.